Hello, my name is Sally Coldicott and I'm a solicitor in the private client team at Harrison Clark Rickaby Solicitors. Harrison Clark Rickaby's has a strong agricultural and rural affairs team that can provide sector specific advice on legal issues across all legal disciplines. In private client, the focus is often on succession planning, agricultural property relief and the best way to ensure that the farming business can continue after a death and into the next generation. However, farmers don't offer put measures in place to ensure that the farming business can continue in the event that they fall ill, lose mental capacity or are unable to continue to work in their lifetime. Lasting powers of attorney are legal documents which appoint another person or other people to make decisions on your behalf if you ever become unable to make decisions for yourself in the future. There are two types of lasting powers of attorney. One for your health and welfare and one for your property and financial affairs. The health and welfare lasting power of attorney covers decisions in relation to medical treatments and the care that you receive. The property and financial affairs lasting power of attorney allows your attorneys to deal with your assets and land. You can appoint your attorneys to act jointly, this is where they must make all decisions together, or jointly and severally, where your attorneys can act together or alone, which is the more flexible option. You can also have a business lasting power of attorney. This is a second lasting power of attorney for property and financial affairs, which allows your attorneys to deal with your business assets. Depending on how your farming business is structured, your business lasting power of attorney can be useful for farmers. It is often best to think of lasting powers of attorney as insurance policies. Hopefully you do retain your mental capacity for the rest of your life. However, if you don't and you do lose capacity in your lifetime, you will have the peace of mind that the people that you trust are in charge of your affairs. If a farmer is no longer able to make decisions or act for themselves, the lasting power of attorney for property and financial affairs or the business lasting power of attorney will allow the chosen attorneys to access bank accounts, pay salaries and buy and sell properties, which should allow the farming business to continue effectively. It is a myth that lasting powers of attorney are something that you should put in place at a later on in life. Provided that you are over the age of 18 years and you have mental capacity, you are not too young to put a lasting power of attorney in place.